I've had quite a few people ask me if there is a way to integrate their OneNote notes with Reflect so that whenever they create a note in OneNote, it also appears in Reflect. While we don't have a direct integration, you can set up a Zapier uh, Zap for them for you. So I'm going to show you how to walk through that. And this is a template I've got already set up here. But I should note that Zapier has this great new uh, feature on their homepage where you can just use AI and it will sort of set it up for you. So you can just say um, when a new note in OneNote is created, sync it with Reflect. Um, and it will kind of, uh, you know, use AI to sort of generate the general template for you. And that's what this is right here. So I guess I'll just go ahead and try this one since I've already gone that far down the hole. And then it's just like setting up any uh, Zapier Zap. This one's pretty basic. Um, but if you haven't done it before, it can be a little bit of an adventure. So you're going to want to log in with your account. I just made a test account with my Sam at reflect.app uh, app, so I'm going to select that one. And then when you continue, you're going to need to select the notebook. So if I go over to my fake OneNote account here, <laughs> you can see I've only got two notebooks. <laughs> I have an untitled section one and then the quick notes um, that I believe it comes with automatically. So I'm going to select my notebook. And for that section, I'm going to select probably the untitled one since I didn't actually create any quick notes. And then when you continue, it's going to ask you to test it. So we'll click test. And that's just going to look for a past note, which it found here. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and continue with that selection. And then you will uh, log into your Reflect account. I have multiple here just because I have a couple demo accounts. I'm going to select the one I most, most frequently use there. Um, and this is pretty easy. It walks you through all of this. Logging in is not hard. And then you get to this page where you actually edit what the note is going to look like. Um, so for the note subject and the content, I recommend leaving these uh, how they are in a basic format at the very least, because that will just mark it, or, or sorry, uh, migrate the note over pretty much how you see it. And if you wanted to include something like, uh, you know, if you wanted to know what, I don't know, what notes came from OneNote, maybe you want to include like a OneNote tag or something like that, um, that might be helpful, but I'm just going to do the kind of basic integration. Um, you know, I'm not going to put anything here for the note markdown. I'm not going to have it append. And then, as always, this is the easiest one to forget, I think. Um, make sure you put in your graph ID down below um, so that it knows what graph to send the note to. And then we'll click Continue. And finally, it will have us do this as a test. Um, and so this is just going to kind of, you know, run through the whole integration we have set up, make sure that it works as a trigger. It usually doesn't take that long, maybe like a minute. I think mine usually probably takes less than that, like 30 seconds. There it goes. Looked like it worked. Um, so I'll head over to my Reflect Notes. And perfect. I see a second one, which is good because I did this as a test for the first time this morning at 930. And now we see the second one. So um, yeah, yeah, we'll merge it. Thank you, Reflect. I will merge those notes together. Um, but uh, as you can see here, that's just kind of the basic note. So. I don't know. It might be helpful to have a tag actually that says uh, OneNote and then you can know that it's imported from OneNote or I don't know, at least a message or something. So if you're looking to sync your OneNote notes with Reflect, that is the easiest way to do it. It really only takes a minute or two to set up and Zapier makes it very, very easy uh, with that new kind of AI feature where you can just describe it.